So here we are in Python and uh, I have solved the differential equation dy dt is equal to minus y plus a times sine t and I solved the equation for a being equal to 2 and by solving I mean numerically and I've solved the equation using solve IVP here. And there's an initial uh, condition as well, which is y at time 0 is equal to 10. And we see the result down here. That's what it looks like. Now I'd like to optimize the parameter a here. Um, for some reason, and that's just, uh, let's just pretend that we have reasons that we would like to have the function equal equal 2 at t equals 5. In other words, I'd like my graph to go through the point over here, which is 5 comma 2, somewhere here. And let's see if I can change my parameters so that that becomes the case. Um, I could use the trial and error method and just try and change A, solve the system and see what happens and then change A again and see what happens. Um, that will be the trial and error. It can take some time uh, and uh, we won't do that. Instead, we will use the scipy optimize package which has a command called minimize scalar and you might think well why minimize we're not really trying to minimize our function here we're trying to set it equal to something but if you think about it we can just take that two to the other side and what we would like to have is the left hand side should equal zero. In other words, I'd like to minimize this quantity here, the absolute value of this should be as small as possible, preferably zero. So really, I can turn this into a minimization problem by minimizing this quantity here. So let's look at how this works in Python. So up here we have our differential equation defined as a function dy dt of t and y and that computes the derivative and returns it so nothing changed there uh, but then we'd like to have a what I call an objective function uh, which takes a parameter Let's just call that parameter. That is actually the value of a. So what it does is it says a equal to that parameter. And then it finds the solution to the differential equation using the solve IVP command. Everything in that, but also setting using the parameter a the value so this time it might not be two it might be one or whatever uh, but then it solves the problem using that particular value of a that i gave it with the parameter then i compute an error and that would be the absolute value of the solution solution dot y 
and we need that zero because there's only one equation so it's the first element of the solution array and I'm going to address the 50th point in my solution because I have a hundred points on this x-axis that's just an arbitrary number but you can see in the script I chose hundred a hundred points in my on my t interval and since I'm asking I'm interested in t equals 5 here then that would be point number 50 index 50 so I so this corresponds to y of 5 and then I subtract the value that I'm interested in and the absolute value of this difference here is then my error and my function here my objective function then returns that error okay so what this function does here this objective function basically what it does is that it computes the error between the solutions function value at five and then the desired function value at five which is two so that's our desire this is um what we observe in the solution all right and then we're ready to use the uh, minimize scalar command and we give we pass a reference to the objective function so this function up here and also we might define some bounds let's say we want to search the interval minus 10 to 10 so this is the you can call it the search interval of a so that's where um, this minimize scalar command will search for solutions for a um, and since we define some bounds for a then we are using the method called bounded like that so basically what minimize scalar does is that it feeds the objective function some number from this interval let's say zero feeds that to the objective function the, the objective function that we defined ourselves then sets a equal to zero solves the system using that value of a and then computes the error that being the absolute value of the function value at five minus two because that's the value we wanted and then it returns that error to the minimize scalar command which then thinks a little and then sends a new value to the objective function and computes an error again and based on those errors it com it finds a new value and then it kind of uh, approaches I mean what it does is that it tries to minimize this error uh, using uh, various methods so let's try it in Python all right so I'm gonna start by writing my objective function here I'm going to set a equal to the parameter that was sent to the function. I'm going to solve. In fact, I can just copy the solve IVP command from up here. Save myself some effort. And then I'm going to going to compute 
the error. And that's the absolute value of my solution y at the 50th t point minus 2. And then I'm going to return that error. However, there is a slight problem because I didn't actually include a here in my solution here. So when I'm feeding the dy dt differential equation to solve IVP here, it doesn't know that I changed the value of a. I need to inform that I changed the value of a. So I have to make what we call a wrapper around this function here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a lambda function around my differential equation. So this is kind of a workaround, I guess you can say. So I'm writing a lambda here, and then I'm making my dy dt a function of t, y, and a. So to solve IVP, this appears to be a function of t and y only, but in reality, it's a function of t, y, and a, which means I also have to change the differential equation a little bit. So let's make room for that. I'm just going to copy my differential equation from up here. Plug it in here. And then change it slightly so that now it also takes a as an argument. Right. So that should do it. And now we're ready to include the minimize scalar command, but first we need to import it. So from scipy optimize import minimize scalar. And now we can run the command minimize scalar and then I'm going to pass the reference to the objective function. I'm going to define the bounds. And I'm using the method bounded right. And I might want to call the result something. I think I'll just call it result. And if, if I want the answer out, I can write like this. That should give me the answer. So let's try to run this cell here. And it gives me the number minus 3.05 and so on. If I want to check that, um, I'm just going to, I guess, go up here and set a equal to result.x and see if that is correct. And now you can see that at t equals 5, the value of the function, it looks like it's 2. If I want to make, if I want to make, be more sure, I can include a plot of uh, the number, two, a lot of 2's here, 100 to be exact. And yes, at 5 it seems to be 2, but I'm still not sure it's actually equal to 5. So I'm going to include a vertical line as well. So that would be um, a lot of 5s here. Um, not necessarily 100, but let's just take 100 here. Um, and a range of numbers going from, let's say, uh, minus 2 to 10, and 100 of those as well. Let's see. Yes, it seems my function is indeed equal to 2 when t is equal to 5. So we um, managed to optimize the parameter a in our differential equation 
let's just remind ourselves what, what it looked like. In this differential equation, we optimized the parameter a so that the value, it, when it has value minus 3.0516 and so on, then this solution here, y, will attain the value 2 when t is equal to 5.